out here in Pennsylvania scouting for turkey. This is a update from the field brought to you by Hunter Specialties. I've been hunting with their HS strut line all turkey season and I want to give you guys a little update on how the gear has been working for me and what's been going on. So let me start with a quick recap of what happened. I hunted Osceola turkey on public land in South Florida for about two weeks and the first four days were rough. I heard no gobbles, saw more hunters than anything else and it wasn't until I went out and started hunting with my friend Kaylin that I really got into some action. We heard gobbles every single day. We were hunting a limited entry quota tag so our opportunity immediately went way up compared to the non quota public land section that we were hunting prior. Possibly my favorite experience from that hunt was actually with a couple of hens. We had a bird gobbling out in front of us. We were calling him in. He was getting closer and closer and my clucking piqued the interest of these hens. It was very clearly a adult mature hen with two younger birds. So she was the mama to her two babies and she did not like what was going on. I had a single hen decoy out. That's the HS Strutlight hen decoy. And she came into us about five yards away and then spun around and beelined for that decoy. It was hard not to laugh. I, something about her beating up the decoy just made me giggle so hard. It was such a cool experience. And then Nick and I made a stop in South Carolina to meet up with some of the folks of Hunter Specialties. Steve Cobb, who is a fantastic caller, he's a world-class turkey caller, was kind enough to guide myself and Nick on a turkey hunt and we got some amazing footage. He had eight jakes come in, eight or more, come into our strut light jake decoy and they had a little powwow around him and I was able to shoot a bird. But not only did I shoot one, I shot two by mistake. I didn't mean to catch that second one, but it got caught in the fire. And thankfully in South Carolina, you get three turkey tags with your license and you're allowed to harvest two birds in one day. So it ended up being a great success because now I have two birds in my freezer and we got it done in one day. It was so awesome and all of the folks there were so kind. So now, flash forward to where I am today. We've been out here scouting for turkey back in our hometown. I will be hunting for turkey here as will Nick and Nick will actually be hunting for turkey in Ohio as well. So we're gonna flip the roles a little bit. I'm going to be the one behind the camera for the most part and Nick will be in front of the camera for that hunt. So I'm very excited about that. And for the rest of this season, there are a ton of birds here. We've seen a ton of sign. And because this is where we grew up, we do have a pretty good idea of where the birds are. It seems like they're still here, like their numbers are healthy. So that opens on April 28th. And the first two weeks of turkey season here is really when things are fired up or all heated up <laughs> you know what I'm saying that's when there's the most action the most gobbling so that's what I'm looking forward to the most and then oh but Ohio will actually happen before PA so like I said you guys have that to look forward to as well but I've been loving the HS gear their strut line is incredible I've been using the slate call and have had gobblers responding to me coming into me and I'm excited to use that here and to hopefully call in a bird here for all of us to experience and enjoy. I called in a bird last year and he scared the crap out of me. I, I was clucking, he gobbled really close, ran right in, but ended up running behind me and then scared the crap out of me. So I'm excited to redeem myself and give it another go. So that is it you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you guys out in the field in just a couple of weeks.